In the viewport, select Shift-A and select Rigify U5 MetaRig. Alternatively, you can select any of the templates. Click on Create U5 MetaRig. Choose your options. Once the MetaRig is created, you can scale it in object mode and make sure to apply the scale. Location, rotation and scale must be identical to this. Now you can enter edit mode and start adjusting all of the bones in symmetry mode. Please use the lasso selection tool as you always need to move the joints together. Adjust the role of the bones in the item tab. If you included the facial rig option, make sure that these bones look exactly like these positions. Once you're done, go back to object mode and click generate U5 rig. You will see the root rig generated. To bind your mesh to the rig in object mode, Click here on Add Selected, selecting your body first, and then you can add the rest of the elements, such as the eye, the eyebrows, and other facial elements. Once you have your full mesh list completed, click on Bind Weights. Your mesh has been correctly parented to the armature now. Switch to the Animate page, and now you can start animating your character, your facial controls, your IKFK switches, pole orientation, head follow, chest follow, and any other Rigify features. Don't forget to keyframe your IKFK switches inside the same NLA track. We've created this Creek to U5 character with three animations. One is a very basic idle with 22 keyframes. We have a second one, which is a longer idle with a thousand and something keyframes. However, whenever you create NLA tracks, the last NLA track you want to add is going to be the U5 rest pose. This is very important. Every time you are going to send animations from Rig to U5 into Unreal Engine, you need to create a two keyframe rest pose. I'm going to press tab to enter this. I'm going to select the entire rig in pose mode, select everything, and then just press I, location and rotation, and also scale. So that way a keyframe is created in the action editor, then you can just Shift D to duplicate that keyframe and set it into frame number two as well. In summary, you need a rest pose, you need to keyframe that rest pose, and then you will duplicate it on frame one and frame two, as you can see right here. In my case, I'm editing the NLA clip, so I'll press tab to exit editing. Once you finish your animation, go back into the action editor, name your action, and then push it into the NLA. This is what actually creates the NLA tracks that you're going to be exporting into Unreal Engine. So click this button, push down, you can see the name of the track and the name of the clip corresponding to the animation you just pushed from the action editor into the NLA. And now I have all of the required animations. I'll click here, return to rig to U5, and then I'll just press FBX to U5 to export. I'm going to set a new name, and then rig to U5 says that the following NLA tracks have been recognized to export. The U5 rest pose, the idle 1 to 22, and the idle B, which is, you know, a thousand plus frames and just click FVX to U5. That's it. It's going to take a little bit of time because we have a longer idle animation with 1500 plus keyframes. Also notice that this is a solo channel. Right now it's set to this little star that you see right here, which means only this channel has been exported. That is probably something that you want to check before exporting. However, the recommended method to do this is that all of your tracks are active because if you solo a track by using the star, that's the way you can export just a single track here in the NLA, only that animation is going to be sent to Unreal Engine. If that's not the case, turn off the solo function so that all of your tracks are active and then just click FBX to U5. I will reselect this last file that I exported and then click FBX to U5. This way, everything will be sent into Unreal Engine. When the baking process ends, it will tell you how many successful NLA tracks have been baked. Now you can go into Unreal Engine, right click on an empty spot, import the FBX, click on import with default settings, and you should see your rig to U5 FVX export correctly into Unreal Engine along with all of the animations. The body and facial animations have been exported successfully from Blender. Whatever you animated in Blender, this is exactly what you're going to get using the rig to U5 add-on from Blender. Now that you understand the basic features of rig to U5, we can use our exported characters from Blender into the IK retargeter in the next video.